Hello, my name is Yusuf Austin. I'm the founder of The Cocktail Architect. I believe you're here for two reasons. Either you found me online, on videos, on my website, The Cocktail Architect, or better yet, you bought one of our artisan syrups up here in the Hudson Valley. We are featured at places like Adams Farragut Farms, Sunflower Market in Woodstock, even Emerson Resort and Spa out in, out in Phoenicia. They actually have it on their cocktail menu there, which is very slick and cool, just to let you know. But this QR code that brought you here to this bottle and me talking right now is for the Rose Petal and Hibiscus Syrup. There is a cocktail that we named Dutch Courage, and it goes wonderfully and beautifully and smells great with an aromatic gin. So with that said, we're going to put this down, and we have basic setup here at the bar. We have a, a shaker set. We got a nice jigger, one ounce and two ounces and three quarters, quarters, all that type of stuff in there and that fancy jigger. We have a bar spoon for this particular Dutch Courage cocktail, a knife, a cutting board, a nice juicy lime, a wonderful hand pressed juicer that only gets the juice in it, but the oils of the rind, it takes on a whole different flavor profile. And those are our tools to make this drink. To make this Dutch Courage cocktail, we are going to use an aromatic gin. I like to keep my spirits and fancy decanters. I feel really good about it. It looks cool. You don't see labels. We're going to use two ounces of our aromatic gin. You have about, you know, just enough ice in your shaker to keep it cold. Then we're going to juice a half of a lime, which should be about three quarters of an ounce. If you have a juicy lime, and look at that, three quarters of an ounce. Using a jigger makes it precise and consistent. Now we're gonna take an ounce of our hibiscus and rose petal syrup. I'm gonna give it a nice shake. You really wanna mix everything up in your shaker. You're gonna put your back into it, stand up. A good chef never sits down. A good mixologist never sits down when they shake a cocktail. All right, now we're going to straight. We're going to strain our Dutch Courage over a fresh, large rect rectangular uh, square cube of ice. The cube of ice keeps it cold and doesn't dilute it as much. We're going to put a splash of soda water. You see it has a little nice foam sudsiness to it. Open it up a bit and we're going to get a beautiful rose petal. And place it right on top of the cube. I love it. how these uh, wild rose petals, roses, um, always have a little bit of discoloration and it makes it look more authentic and real. So here's the Dutch Courage and how to use the hibiscus and rose petal artisan syrup that you bought at the store.